Oh hi guys, it's Vicky, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're going to be making a rainbow and black payout stitch cuff. So for my supplies, I'm going to be using some scissors, of course, some one millimeter elastic string that I got at Joann's, and then for my beads, I'm using this neon mix that I got at Walmart along with some black beads that I got at Joann's. So if your bracelet is the same size as mine, you're gonna need 74 black beads and then 12 of each rainbow color. That is a total of 144 beads. However, this can vary depending if your bracelet needs to be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. So to start with, you'll need about five feet of string you're probably gonna need a little more later. Once you have your pretty long piece of string, just fold it in half. And then you'll want to add on two black beads, one onto each end. And then you want to put the two ends together and add a pink bead onto both at once. Then one black on each end again. Then put the two ends together and place on one orange onto both at once. Then we'll do one black on each end again. And then put the two strings together and place a yellow onto both at once. And now you'll want to pull all of your beads to the middle of the string and tighten them. And it should look like that. Then I'll take one end of the string and place on a green bead and then place the string through this black bead here that's sticking out right next to the yellow bead. And then here I'll be adding a yellow bead and I'll put the string through this next black bead that's sticking out. And next is an orange bead, and I'll put my string through the black edge bead that's sticking out. And of course, I'm gonna try and pull and tighten on this to keep it nice and neat looking. And as I go, it will retain itself like that. So now I'll be adding a black bead and placing my string through that orange bead that's sticking out. Then another black bead, and putting my string through the next yellow that's sticking out. Then another black bead, and putting my string through the next green that's sticking out. Next will be a blue bead, and then I'll put my string through this next black that's sticking out. The next is a green bead. Then a yellow bead, and I'll stick my string through the black edge bead. And I'm just pulling that tight, and then we'll do a black bead, and place the string through this yellow bead that's sticking out. Then I will add a black bead, and place my string through the next green. Then another black, and putting my string through the blue edge bead. Pulling that row tight. Next will be a purple bead on the edge. And then I'll put the string through the next black that's sticking out. Next is a blue. And put the string through the next black that's sticking out. Next will be a green. And put the string through the black edge bead. And this row is all black again. So placing on a black, put my string through this green, another black, and put the string through the blue that's sticking out. Then I'll put on another black. Now for this row, it'll be pink, purple, blue. And this row will be black, black, black. Okay, 
This row will be orange, pink, purple. And then black, black, black. There we go. So now you can see that we have a full rainbow here. All the way pink through purple. And I'm just going to keep on doing this pattern until I run out of string on this side. Okay, this string is pretty short now, and that's okay. I'm just going to leave a couple inches um, for later, but I'm just going to turn the bracelet around, and we're going to use this other big long end that we haven't used yet. Um, the only catch is that now we have to make the rainbows go backwards. I'll put an orange after that yellow, and then a pink there underneath that orange. And then a purple. Now three black. Then I'll do a pink, a purple, and a blue. Then this row is all black. Then here we'll do a purple, a blue, and a green. Then three black. Then blue, green, yellow. Then three black. Then green, yellow, orange. Then three black. And then it will be yellow, orange, pink. And there we go. We've done a full backwards rainbow together. So just keep it going until your bracelet's long enough or you run out of string. And I'm going to make mine 24 beads long. Yep, I ran out of string, so I'm actually going to turn the bruise suit around so that I can finish off just doing the forwards rainbow because it's just like slightly easier. And I'm just going to add like two feet to finish it off. And there will be a link in my description that will show you a video about how to do this. So I've just got a few rows to go. Okay, so now that I have my 24 beads long, <laughs> I actually um, held it up to myself like this, and I think maybe it's actually a little too big, so I'm just going to take off um, a couple of these rows, and now we'll see if that's better. So you can do this at home too. Um, just hold it on, and... If it's too big, you can take off some, and if it's too small, you can put on some. 
Another note is that you want the two sides to end oppositely. One of my ends has the rainbow beads sticking out and one of my ends has the black beads sticking out. And that way they can fit together like puzzle pieces. So now we just need to tie this off. So I'll take the longer end of my string and I'm going to place it through all of the beads that are sticking out on the like alternating the sides. So I'll go through this purple, black, blue, black, green, black, and then tie them together um, at the end. So first I'll go through this purple bead that's sticking out on the edge of the other side. Then I'll go through this black bead that's sticking out on this side. Then through this blue bead that's sticking out on the other side. So this way we're kind of just lacing them, the two sides together. And then I'll go through this black that's sticking out on this end. Then through this green bead that's sticking out on the other end. Then through this black edge bead that's sticking out. And as you can see now, our two ends are right next to each other. And we'll just need to pull each one tight. And then we can tie these into a couple of square knots. So there goes one. And then after I do that one, I'm just gonna tug like that just to make sure that it's connected really well. And then I'll put another square knot on top of it. So that's a double knot right there. And then I'm gonna tug to make sure the knot does not come undone. And sometimes I might even do a third knot <laughs> just so I can feel extra secure about it. The tugs are important to keep the knot tight. Just be careful if you're using one of those clear strings because sometimes if you pull too hard, they will snap. So there it is. Our rainbow and black peyote stitch cuff. Anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching. My contact information is in the description down below. I got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, all that stuff. Uh, show me your candy pics, say hello. And of course in the comments section, say hi there too. Let me know what you think of the video, questions or suggestions. And until next time, peace, love, unity, and respect.